Greetings, YouTube. Anyone who's seen a number of my previous videos knows I was pretty happy about Vermont's decision yesterday to overturn the governor's veto of the Same-Sex Marriage Act. Four states down, 46 to go, until we actually have true equality in America. I'm just hoping that we don't have to actually go through this one state at a time, and eventually the Supremes down in D.C. will decide that, you know, maybe everybody should get the same rights. And whether it's decided by the Supreme Court or it is done state by state, then either way, as long as Americans get equal treatment under the law, I'll be happy. I was disturbed by the fact that the Vermont State Legislator, Legislature had to override the governor's veto. And then I was really appalled when I actually listened to Governor Douglas speak on camera. Apparently he considers the budget problems currently uh, haunting America to be greater of greater importance than human equality. Well, I have a message for you, Governor Douglas. There is nothing more important than equality. Does it matter what the economy shape is in? Depressions come and go, recessions come and go. Human dignity and equality are far more important than any amount of money. I'm not really sure how a Republican governor got elected to Vermont. I always figured they were far more democratic. But I'm hoping that the, vote, the voters in Vermont remember what Governor Douglas said and did in this April. And maybe they can help him in the future fade into obscurity. Because within my lifetime, and this has always scared me, there was a time when you couldn't marry a black person and a white person in some U.S. states. 1967 was the last year that was legal. And that's a haunting fact. And I'm hoping that my sister's child, she'll be delivering in seven or eight months, I believe, will someday look at me and be completely confused when I explain that when before they were born, that gay people couldn't marry in America. And I want this child to look at me and say, that was dumb, uncle. Because it is dumb. It's disrespectful. It's terrifying that bigotry and prejudice can win the day in state after state in a country that bases its ideals on freedom and fairness and equity. Love is love, regardless of your gender or your sex or your orientation. And it doesn't matter why you want to get married. It's just so long as you do. And you want to share your life with that person. Now I know that the naysayers are going to say, Well, what about people marrying animals? Which is an absurd argument. Because you know, an animal can't give not knowing consent. An animal isn't a sapient being. Humans are, however. And if two people love each other, let them get married. I've also heard an argument that there are, there are people who are afraid that this will lead to polygamy, with multiple people wanting to get together and join together in a, a group marriage. And I think that is a distinct possibility at some point in the future. And again, I don't see the problem. Like I've said before, it's not my dick, it's not my business. If people want to get together and form a legal binding relationship with each other, go for it. I realize it causes some complexity with inheritance rights and such, and you're really going to need lawyers to hammer the details out. But if corporations can exist, and many of those have multiple people involved, I'm sure that we could come up with laws and codes and such to cover group marriages. I know that my marriage is one of the most important things in my life. I'm really glad I'm married. I love my wife, and every day I'm thankful for her, and I make sure I tell her that. And I can't imagine living in a world that said, you can't marry her, just because.
So way to go, Vermont. One more step in the right direction. And someday, hopefully someday soon, the rest of America will follow you. Thank you.